you for joining us on this Friday morning. I'm Sarah Donchi and I'm Amy Davis. Andy and Jennifer are off today. So here's what we know so far. The death toll now stands at 84 people. Two of those victims were from the Austin area. The suspect is described as a 31 year old man who is known to French police here at home. Words of support continued to pour in after yesterday's deadly attack. Channel 2's Anusha Rasta is live downtown with more about two of those victims from Texas. Anusha, good morning. Sarah, good morning to you. That's right. The two victims from Texas are a father and son from the Austin area. They were on vacation with their family in Nice when they were killed. On a crowded street in a popular tourist city in the south of France, a man driving that white truck you see in this cell phone video plows into a crowd of people waiting to watch fireworks during a French holiday similar to the 4th of July. He was just mowing people down. And so I can't even tell you how many people I saw die in front of my eyes. Government officials identified the truck driver, 31 year old Mohamed Bouhel, a French Tunisian man from Nice. They say he killed 84 people and injured 50 others when he drove over them and opened fire along Nice's famous Promenade des Anglais. Police officers later shot him dead. Among those killed, two people from the Austin area in Texas, 51-year-old Sean Copeland and his 11-year-old son, Brody. Sean had that, uh, always had a smile on his face. He had a, a bubbly personality, always upbeat. The Copeland family was on vacation when Sean and Brody were killed. They released this statement, which reads in part, quote, we are heartbroken and in shock over the loss of Brody Copeland, an amazing son and brother who lit up our lives, and Sean Copeland, a wonderful husband and father. They are so loved.